okay you want accountability uh from the others what what mistakes are you prepared to admit to? So if it hadn't been for the leaks last week, then the first we would have heard about Prince Harry's book Spare would have been in the interview on ITV last night with Tom Bradby. In the end, we already knew quite a lot from the Spanish translation that was accidentally released too early. Even so, there's plenty to pick out of what Harry told Tom Bradby about racism at the firm, the royal family's relationship with the British press, and the possibility of reconciliation. You talk about peace. Peace can happen when there's truth. And between my family and myself, it is up to us to reconcile. But the only way that can happen is by keeping that the antagonist out of it. Uh, let's speak to Valentine Lowe, who is the uh, Times' royal writer. Morning to you, Valentine. Yes. Good morning. Um, so what did, um, what did you make of of the entire interview. I mean, I didn't I didn't watch it because I was sleeping, obviously, because, you know, got to get up early. But from the <laughs> clips that we played, the I, I, I find he's quite contradictory in places. And I actually really do want to understand what he's saying. And I think he had some interesting stuff to say about culture wars, etc. Um, but sometimes he kind of, he just suffers from a lack of clarity. What, what did you take from it? Uh, he, he certainly suffers from lack, lack of clarity. He, he contradicts himself on occasion. And he does show a, a spectacularly, spectacular lack of self-awareness sometimes. Mm. I mean, at one point, uh, Tom Bradby asks him about um, you know, what, what what he would say to uh, William and to Charles uh, about the book, what they'd say to him. Mm. He says that any conversations between him and them about that would remain private. <laughs> I, I sort of, I mean, that's a real marmalade dropper, isn't it? It's like, yeah, Harry, you, you proved yourself not very good at keeping things private. Um, mm. And he, he, talk, he talks about accountability all the time without being really clear about what he means about all of that. Um, I, I, yeah, he, I just don't think he's very clear. Um, I don't think he's very self-aware. And he also, he also says things like... Um, that um, you know, he says he loves his father and brother. Well, that may be true, but he says nothing. This this book in this book was intended to hurt them. Well, mm. if I was William or Charles, particularly William, I'd be really hurt yeah. about what Harry has written. What, um, what, what but, did Harry have? Can you clear up what what he said about um, Camilla? Well, you know, he 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 basically. Um, he says that, that nothing in, in in the book was meant to be scathing about his family, including Camilla. But he does basically uh, accuse her of uh, leaking stuff about um, the early conversations with William. So uh, Camilla had conversations with William when she first met him, and that stuff appeared in the paper. Uh, and Camilla, through the person doing her the PR, uh, at the time, he Harry basically says that they leaked that. Um, he, he points the finger pretty clearly there. Um, and what do you think this is going to do for um, for sales of the book? Um, because as I said at the beginning of the interview, we you know there, there have been plenty of leaks about this. Is that kind of taking the steam out of this? Do you think, or 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 not? I don't think anything's going to take the steam out of this book. Uh, people who were interested and that's an awful lot of people mm. uh would have, would, would have seen the would have seen the stuff in the papers uh and i don't think they're going to feel oh gosh uh we read it all now they, they'll, they'll think oh hang on i really want to read this whole book i want to i want to hear harry's voice mm. uh they they don't want to see it uh through the filter of 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 the newspapers um, so I think, you know, this book is going to fly off the shelves. Now, there are plenty of um, interviews. I think there's like maybe four in total. There's a couple more to still be done in, in, in America. And, um, you know, everyone's doing as good a job as they can, especially when the person that you're interviewing doesn't really answer the questions. But, you know, that that's not something that's um, restricted to, to, to Prince Harry. There's many, many politicians who do the same thing. Um, Valentine, if you had one question... Just one question for Prince Harry. What do you think it would be? That's a very good question, which I haven't uh, thought about. Uh, <laughs> but I, I think um, I would ask him, OK, you want accountability uh, from the others. What, what mistakes are you prepared to mm. admit to?
Yeah, I think I think that's exactly what I was going to say. Is any of it? Is anything your? Is any of this your fault? Um, but fair enough, Val. Thank you very much for that. That's Valentine Lowe. He is the Times' royal writer. Perhaps if you have one question for um, Harry, something you actually genuinely want to be answered, it doesn't have to be a dig necessarily. Um, let us know eight seven treble two. Start your message with the word Times. We're going to speak to a lot of people about this throughout the program. Jenny Bond, Quentin Letts. Um, also, Anthony Lloyd, who's talking about the kind of military side of things as well. Um, so, uh, gird your loins.